has happened. And here he is, Sir Tom Moore and his daughter, Hammer. Uh, Tom, congratulations. Sir Tom, to it, you, Piers Morgan, and I'm the sorry. rest of us. Sir Tom, congratulations. How does it feel? Thank you very much. Delighted to hear from you. And uh, because, if you remember, you said, I, I'm out getting a, a knighthood. And I said, never in this world would I do that. And I think you thought maybe you'd you would put some money on it. And I said to you, don't put much. But that was <laughs> the wrong thing, wasn't it? You should have put a lot, a lot on it and made it a bit for yourself. <laughs> I wish I had, Tom. Uh, you know, it was funny, I went back and checked. And it was April the 15th where I woke up, and a few people have been suggesting this on, on Twitter. And I just said, you know, wouldn't it be great uh, if, if Tom Moore was knighted and 88,000 people liked that tweet? So the whole country was willing you to get this recognition. It's a remarkable achievement, Tom, and I know that it means so much to you because you're such a huge fan of the Queen. So, so many people. Um, well, Piers woke up and he saw that there was some momentum behind. Mm. Um, the British public was saying, you must be knighted. And eventually, um, well, not that long, in fact, it's happened. And um, how do you feel, and especially when you are such a, a huge supporter of Her Majesty the Queen? I, I am absolutely thrilled that the Her Majesty has decided or chosen that a poor little me would be united it really is a great honor or something i never ever anticipated as i told you i never ever believed this would happen to me but i think the queen is so gracious that she bestowed this honor on me and i really absolutely absolutely totally thrilled by it because it never ever entered my head that something like that would happen to me you know tom what it, what you gave us you know, in the Second World War, Winston Churchill gave the people of his country hope. And I think in this crisis, two people have performed that role magnificently. One is the Queen, with her a succession of statements to the nation, which I think have been extremely reassuring and very hopeful. And I think your constant appearances on television while you were walking, saying, tomorrow will be a good day, and you were saying that as someone that lived through World War II and, and other uh, huge moments. I think you've been such a, a beacon of hope to people. And that is why people feel so proud of you today and so happy that you've been knighted. Thank you very, very much for those kind remarks because I really am thrilled and I do appreciate the, all the kind thoughts that so, m so many people have made about my uh, being knighted. I am absolutely thrilled by it and never ever, as I said, never believed that would happen to me, but it has. And so I thank everyone concerned throughout the country. Thank you very, very much. I do appreciate it and I'm delighted. Thank you. Hannah, for you, this is a very proud moment as well and for the rest of the family. It's just simply <laughs> extraordinary. Um, of course, we, we never entered into the discussion. It was just amazing for people to believe that he should be knighted. Of course, um, we quietly hoped um, and, and believed it too, but um, for this to actually happen, we're, well, we're simply thrilled for him. Um, we've been practicing our curtsying. We're not doing very well, um, uh, but we, we, we even, uh, my husband even offered to polish his shoes this morning. Uh, so we're, we're doing our very best to make sure we now uh, behave accordingly. Well, and let me ask you, I want to ask Tom, if we get to an investiture and, we're able to, and you're able to go and be knighted by the Queen, what would you say to Her Majesty as you're standing there when she's about to knight you? I think that the, the, the discussion between me and the Queen <laughs> will have to be kept secret. I don't <laughs> believe you meant to, to, to <laughs> say what the Queen says, so I should say... Thank you. To you, all you people, I said thank you very much, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> You're I reckon she'll be, the one, she'll be the one thanking you, Tom. You've been, honestly, it's been such a joy amid all the despair to keep talking mm -hmm. to you and Hannah throughout this process. I hope we stay in touch. What's your final message, Tom, 
of hope and positivity to anybody out there watching who's going through a hard time, maybe they've lost their job or they've lost a loved one, we want to end on a final message from you, Sir Tom, to cheer them up and keep their spirits high. I think you go back to the, the, uh, the song that uh, Michael and I sang, that there will be, after the storm, there will be a golden sky. I think that really, you've got to look forward to the fact that things will improve as they always do, things will get better and we will have a, a lovely golden sky and we'll hear the larks singing again beautifully. That, that surely is what we must believe because it, that's what will happen. And so we must Tom believe Moore, that we'll never walk alone. You'll we'll never walk alone. Sure we're together.